Hi uh, guys, the first support video I made was on Arco Pro with Niri, which makes things a little bit complex because it's a tiling window manager. And you'll see if you have Hyperland, it will be even more complex <laughs> because it's Hyperland, right? Experimental desktop. But this is the default. Let's have a look. Default ISO, ArcoNet. Which uh, desktops do we have? This one and we have that one. So basically the default ArcoNet. If we update this, things will be a little bit different than on Niri. Depends on each of the desktops that we have. But the same thing is important. We have the Arconix mirror list and the system config that's going to change and all the rest is um, just the normal updates from Arch. And let's see how that looks on a normal Arconet installation where you added a few packages or removed a few packages and riced it a little bit. Then this will be the end result, which is uh, maybe a video which I should have started with. Like I said, we have like 30-ish desktops. I can't make videos about all 30-ish desktops, right? Do think, analyze, why is this happening to me? Uh, should I change from a Git version to a normal version? That's, for instance, the solution for Hyperland. If you are updating Hyperland and you end up with SDM, it's the back end that's not okay, right? It's Hyperland that's not okay. It's never SDM that's crashing in the last 10 years. SEDM never crashed. It saves you from a crashing desktop that behind it. So investigate what's happening on the back end after SEDM and fix it with TTY, Control Alt F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, and go in there. The main thing that changes while we wait, right? The main thing that changes is Pacman. Pacman has changed. And what we have now is Arco repo here, third party, and that's it. Sig level is set to never, didn't mention that in the other video. The key will end, I think, end of this year. So we're not gonna check the key, we're not gonna update the key. There will be no updates anymore to these guys after the 1st of July anyway. So then you can remove them and um, the other thing that's important is the narco mirror list. That's it, right? We have just one reference, the GitHub um, setup or repository. That's where we get the packages from and all the rest will go away in time. This one will keep forever and ever. Let's pause the video a little bit because this is taking its time. That's finished. We could reboot, but uh, we see the effect immediately if we update again, right? Everything is as it should be. Arch Linux rules, first thing, he'll find it here, third thing, and then Chaotic KOR is up for the job. So the Arco Linux repo extra large is gone because it is a paid one, and it's replaced by Chaotic AOR, which has uh, 4,000 packages or so. That's it basically, and um, if I do now, I uh, probably need to install it. And fast fetch is another choice. And if you type it out, you'll have NeoFetch. What you do, and on the 1st of July, you just go here, say okay, since Adconix repos won't change anymore, right? This is, by the way, shift arrow down, control K. Control X, yes, please. It's gone, right? That's the 1st of July, the last action, and then you're fully, um, well, on Arch, basically. You keep rolling, right? There is no need to jump ship or go find out a new distro. We were on Arch last eight years, right? 90% is Arch. Enjoy. Cheers.